Good morning, everyone from the Windham Concord Hotel. It's a beautiful sunny morning and uh, we're going to show you once around our hotel here. Um, most of you probably think again that Venezuela is uh, underdeveloped, that you cannot get any nice food, that you cannot have a nice holiday here. A lot of misconceptions, I believe, about staying on this island. So we're going to show you once how your stay would be in this hotel. So we start with the most important meal of the day, the breakfast. There are plenty of hot options. There are also some nice juices and uh, of course some fruits. They are very good. Some cold cuts, salads and some bakeries like croissants, breads, cookies, muffins. Uh, there are not as many options as what you would find in a resort, for example, on the Dominican Republic. But the food is nice. Uh, we have no complaints. It's really nice food. Uh, the hotel is not so full, so probably it's why also the choice is a little bit less. So this is what I chose from the buffet. Some pineapple, cold cuts, toast. Uh, there's a nice muffin and plantain. Ako, she likes to eat eggs, so she's going to go for the eggs. And uh, we're having breakfast by the beach almost. It's uh, close to the sea. So you have a very nice view as well. So let me show you once around the room. This is just a standard room. And you can find a safe, an iron, and you have for Isla Margarita hat, which we got when we arrived, which was a very nice uh, gift. And then the bathroom, it's pretty much what you would find in a Marriott in the United States, for example. It's very clean, has a hair dryer, and they give you some soaps, shower, everything what you can expect in a normal hotel. Plenty of toilet paper, so if you thought there wouldn't be any toilet paper, you're wrong. And uh, shower, we have hot water all the time, so we don't have any issues with that either. And this is how the room looks like. So you find a very nice king size bed, some nice decorations. They're all themed uh, from the island, so they have some kind of Isla Margarita themes. And then you can find the telephone. Uh, there's a remote for the TV and there's also a Bible, which is something you usually don't find in many hotels anymore. And then, yeah, they gave us some bath robes as well and uh, slippers. We can also find a chair, a small table and a rack for a suitcase. Again, some decorations with boats related to the island of Margarita. And we have a very beautiful view over the sea and the pool. One of the small things we didn't like is that the windows cannot open and there is no balcony. The good part with that is that you won't have mosquitoes flying in. So we have zero bugs or mosquitoes in the room, which is a nice thing as well. Something else I really like are the curtains. They are full blackout, which is something you don't find very easily in many hotels. There is Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi works perfectly, it's very fast, a nice big TV, two complimentary bottles of water, and below here there is also a small fridge. So this is a four-star hotel and I believe it's definitely as good as any four-star hotel in the rest of the world. Yeah, we have a very nice stay in town now. The rooms are clean, they are quiet. We are on the 14th floor, so we don't have a lot of noise. There is air conditioning in the rooms. Um, the hotel is quite cold in general. So in the room, we leave the air conditioning off because it's uh, cold enough. And uh, even though it's 32 degrees Celsius outside, without the AC in the room, it's still good. Which is quite nice because you don't have any noise when you're sleeping from the air conditioning. And then this is how the room plan looks like. And we're on the 14th floor. I'm not sure how many rooms the hotel has. It's quite big. So now it's time to show you once around the hotel. This hotel has a big swimming pool. It is located next to the beach, so you can access the beach as well. And um, yeah, there's a lot of Christmas decoration these days. There is a spa, we didn't try it, and there's also a small store here on the left, it's closed now. They don't sell any food, it's just uh, beach items, like slippers, clothes and stuff. 
And then on the right side, you can pick up your towels. So when you check in, you will receive two cards, uh, one for each person, and you can exchange them for a towel. And then uh, when you bring them back, you just get your cards back. And every day you can get fresh new towels to take with you to the beach or the swimming pool. The hotel has a very beautiful garden. It's very well kept. I see people working basically every day in the garden to keep it nice. And the design is very nice as well. For example, here the trees over the path. At night they light up because they put Christmas lights inside. So it's very beautiful. So there is a beautiful swimming pool and there are plenty of chairs. One of the things that we noticed that didn't happen here was reserving sunbeds. Maybe it's because the hotel is not so busy or because there are just plenty of sunbeds. But it's something I really, really like because no one wants to wake up at six o'clock in the morning just to reserve a sunbed. So yeah, that's a very, very good point here. Plenty of space, plenty of chairs. And uh, something I really, really like about this hotel. And then on the left there is uh, the restaurant we ate breakfast. Um, some days it, we eat breakfast there or lunch or dinner. Other days it's in the main building. I'm not sure why they choose which restaurant, but uh, it's a nice change. The hotel has a quite nice beach, but on some days you have to be careful because there are sea urchins. Um, I'll show you once. So they look like this. And uh, yeah, you do not want to step on them. We are having our lunch now and Hakoshi went for pork with potatoes and I went also for pork with potatoes on pasta and rice. The food is very good here and uh, yeah, you can find plenty of food. You're not gonna starve here, so don't believe all this stuff on the internet, please. This is the dinner buffet. So there is a soup, today is chicken soup. And then we have a station here where they cook fresh pasta with sauce for you. 
There are also some desserts, nice cakes and uh, flan, I think. Some fresh uh, fruits and uh, these are salads and uh, cold dishes. And then uh, on the other side, there are the warm dishes. You have uh, probably like 10 different hot options as well. For example, uh, pork, chicken, uh, this is cordon bleu. There is um, all kinds of stuff you can choose from. Depending on the amount of guests, there are some more options. Uh, sometimes there are some more salads. There are some more desserts as well. More cakes, uh, more options, which is nice. So I went for a soup. The soups here are very nice. I don't know what it is, but they're always very good. And uh, this is some chicken with cheese and uh, hakoshi went for salad. I'm pretty much the same as uh, me. I hope this video gives you an idea how a stay on Isla Margarita looks like. There are definitely nice hotels with good food. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. There will be more videos coming soon from the island of Margarita. Thank you.